large enough to hold intact drow bodies. And there are legendary house war starting incidents in which one house slew warriors of another, baked them into such pies, and served them to guests of the other house as literal deadly insults. Hey, and well met, and welcome back to more Realms Lore. Today, we are bringing you something that we get for a request pretty much all the time, which is more lore on the drow. Uh, I'm not going to spoil too much, so I'm going to pass it over to the original creator of the Forgotten Realms, Ed Greenwood himself, to explain a little more. Hi. So, uh, we, we've talked over the years a lot about, you know, what the drow down in the Underdark eat every day. You know, lots of fungi, pack lids, and stuff like that. But what if you were attending a high feast, a drow banquet? Well, I actually lay out the menu, and then I explain what all those weird words mean, and exactly what they're eating, and the etiquette of a formal drow feast. Fair warning, some of them are pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't try this at home, okay? Yeah. If you are enjoying these videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, the the con contributions from the Patreon are what directly support us being able to create these videos here for you to today. Here for you today, so if you're enjoying the Realms Lore videos, uh, please head on over to patreon.com slash edgreenwood and consider becoming a protector of the realms. And in the meantime, enjoy this drow banquet. Guard thy gullet. A drow banquet in all its splendor. Many times I've been asked about what food drow eat and what delicacies and treats they feast on when they gather for special meals. The fungi-dominated everyday fare I've covered many times down the years, but not so the special food for special occasions, so it's finally time to explore drow banquets. Uh, don't listen to this on an empty stomach. If you're hungry, or could soon be, go devour something. I'll wait with utter patience. It's something we do, we images caught in the internet. Right? Ready? Consider then this menu from a banquet thrown by House Cladath of the drow city of Hondroth. It consists of six traditional courses, the four, Vadrants, Trulver, Quantzlo, Laraz, and Tyrell. The four, Fall Spiders on Armor Plates, Crunch Fingers, Black Thrips, Roast Thulder Bites, Framber. Translated, that first course menu means arrival and mingling, general chatter. Fall spiders on armor plates. These are faux spiders fashioned of pitted black olives from the world above for the bodies and fungi for the legs, posed on crackers of the thinnest shelf fungus cut into ovals and rock salted around the edges. Crunch fingers. Ah, deep fried in frill stock fungi oil, cave crickets. Black thrips, glistening black cave worms, stuck alive to cave fisher web daubs to be plucked therefrom and eaten wriggling and fresh. They move like lightning, so will escape if dropped. Thulder is the local Hondrothan name for the pack lizards domesticated all over the Underdark. Large old tough lizards have throats sliced and bled out to keep the blood for many culinary uses, then sliced into log and ribbons and overcooked in a boiling mini mushrooms broth for days to soften the meat. Old lizards are the most flavorful, but the flesh gets very tough and stringy, then cut into small bite-sized pieces and run onto backbone skewers for easy handling. For amber is a flavorful but weak amber-hued wine made of fermented fungi mixed in the right proportions with giant centipede distillate and water, and aged in the internal chambers of Tonus, coll colloquially known as vat fungi, these gigantic upright barrel-shaped mushrooms are uh, treated by tre like treasure by all drow cities that have them. They are among the few things that by unspoken rule of drow society, no one house can own or control. They must be shared. Then we move on to the second course, Vadrits. Susark, Platter of Delights. Salvret, Wrigglings. 
Ulav. And translated, that's the greeting. House orator bids guests welcome, praises the matron of the house and her magnificence, mentions a house achievement that they're proud of, and utters a prayer to Lulz for her continued guidance to take Drow higher on the path of power and their eventual rightful rule over all. Susark is sugared roast cave bat, skewered and roasted small bats and dipped in the honey-like sap of carnivorous ambulatory mushrooms that feed on insects they catch in this way. In its raw state, a strong glue. But if simmered, becomes a sweet edible syrup enjoyed by many drow as a dessert. In this dish, it will be seasoned with rendered down cave vine suckers that impart nutty and hot cinnamon-like flavors. A platter of delights is a pleasantly arranged assortment of fruits, vegetables, and small edibles such as snails, clams, and reptile and avian eggs from the surface world. It's a mark of the power and wealth of the host house that they can glean such things more than these are culinary delights. Most drought diners will nibble some as curiosities, but only ever return to such platters to eat things they found pleasant at earlier feasts almost always the eggs and sweeter fruits. A salvret is a giant pie, large enough to hold intact drow bodies. And there are legendary house war starting incidents in which one house slew warriors of another, baked them into such pies and served them to guests of the other house as literal <laughs> deadly insults. But more often, stuffed with the cooked brains and intestines and genitalia of deep rosse, mixed with a medley of hot, strongly flavored chonsol mushrooms. Elminster says they take like rich, dark chocolate with jalapeno pepper heat and blind cave worms. According to the old sage, the thick, fat, white ones taste like a mix of water chestnuts and roasted almonds. Wrigglings are salted carrion crawler grubs a delicacy when harvested young enough that's small, green, and translucent with yellow tentacles. Ulaver is green wine, the ubiquitous drow quaff made of orbloran mushroom boiled in water with crushed merald, a plentiful underdark shelf fungi. The more merald juice, the more flavorful the wine, and aging makes ulaver truly splendid, a memorable drink for most surface dwellers who get to sample it, whereas young lava is acrid enough to burn the lips and throat. Here, House Cladath would serve Ulavar no less than six years old. Next up is the third course, the main course or backbone of the meal, consisting of only one dish with a wine. Trulver is the course, Hroon Lothquil. Translated, this is the talking, wherein speeches are made by honored guests or priestesses read from the classic prayers to Lulth as guests devour the large main meat dish of the banquet in relative silence. Harun is roast deep rothe stuffed with a mixture of oogloth, an abundant nutty flavored cave mushroom used here because it blends flavors from the rich rothe and the salty blind snake, and kuveil the blind water snake of the deepest, coldest underdark lakes. Lothquil is a syrupy, thick, smoky flavored, translucent emerald green wine derived from a particular crushed underdark mushroom, the increasingly rare Uthquaren. So this is expensive and in short supply. Which brings us to the fourth course, Quanslo. Raken, Droker, Tolu with brass, Rovre. Translated, this is the pleasant counterstroke, a contrast to the previous course. Traditionally, a time of much chatter, mingling, music and juggling as entertainment, and swift murmured private conversations amid the hubbub. Rakem was traditionally Abelus tentacle, but these days, far safer to procure underdark eels are usually substituted. Whatever the flesh used, it's cut into rounds and cooked in fungi, florid, seasoned vinegar, soured green wine in this case, and served covered with shavings of brown cave spike. 
Alminster says this hanging from cavern ceilings, stalactite, like soft brown fungi, tastes like powdered ginger. Drolker is a cave plant, the fruiting body of an abundant vine that can grow for miles along passes, passages and fissures that surface merchants trading with dwarves and surf nebulin know as cave cucumber for its long fat curved sausage shape juicy texture, and acidic vinegary tart taste. It's always served as chopped, sliced medallions. Tuala with brars means medallions of brars bread, which is blue cap flour spore bread that has been baked with diced lug in the mix. Lug is a leek or scallion-like rush fungi, as in it takes the shape of rushes or hollow reeds and grows along the shores of underdark lakes and placid water pools. The medallions are gently toasted and resemble, Elminster says, little round pancakes or malt bread slices. Brars is the name given to the herbed butter provided for spreading on them, this being the fat of the Dilvaro cave worm, diced and then slowly simmered into a jelly, seasoned with alacan. Elminster says this leafy cave lichen tastes like a cross between peppermint and garlic. Rovre is a blended wine of black hair or mulgem, a particular boiled cave moss mixed with the internal juices of a specific underdark spider, the rove. A plentiful small black scuttling spider, five can fit on a typical adult human palm. Skilled veteran spider hunters can tap these internal juices without killing a spider, so a given arachnid can be milked over long periods for a sustained supply. This is followed by a very different fifth course. Laraz, Varvras, Sulvik, and Dambru. Translated, this is the relaxation, gentle converse or the cheese course. Varvras means cheeses, collective. They are served in narrow slices on plates garnished with tart, world above fruit like apricots, quinces, and tangerines. Drought cheeses tend to be soft, moist, creamy, surface ripened cheeses with an edible rind, like real world brie or camembert, but are mainly deep rothe milk derived and seasoned with various fungi spores that give them mauve or purple hues and a variety of mild tastes, depending on the spores used. Sulvik are the hard-boiled eggs of pack lizards, covered with saffron and flavored with cloves, both spices from the world above, which is why this is such a rare delicacy. Damru is fermented fire like in wine. It's green-white, pepper-hot, sour, and according to Elminster, really addictive. Diners are usually stuffed to the verge of sickness by the time the sixth and last dessert course arrives. Tyrell, Glace, Mredas, Uvorn, Hansa. Translated, this means the parting. Glace are moonworms, a species of glowworms. Think of real world white grubs, but glistening white and fat earthworm shape, i.e. their bodies have bulging segments that taste like cashews raw and can be fried and if fried or jarred for long enough with honey make a sweet some drow nigh kill for. So this is a highly prized drow dessert delicacy for many the true highlight of any banquet. Naredas is cream, the richest thickest deep rothe milk thickened with the distillates of two sweet fungi. Served covered with the seed-like spores of curtain fungi, Elminster says they taste like salted pistachio nuts. Uvorn are cave vine grapes stewed in rose water, and at a banquet are always in small drinking bowls on saucers surrounded by various shelled nuts from the world above. Hensa is minted, thinned with wine's deep rosé milk, often served to young drow as they are being weaned, and so a nostalgic comfort drink to many drow. And there you have it. Hungry? I am, despite all the eels and fungi. I will refrain from cheesy I'm a fungi jokes because I'm classy that way. Something less edible next time.
I promise. So wait, what do they do to the Mykonids? <laughs> they milk them? Is that what you said? That's a spider. No, they milk the spider. So what do they do to the fungus people? They eat them. <laughs> they just eat them. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, most of those fungi aren't the intelligent fungi people. They're uh, they're they're little fungi. Mm, yeah. Non intelligent fungi. Uh, let's do drow busters. Uh, drow bangers. I can't read. Drow bangers. <laughs> are you are you missing ones in the list now? Are we jumping down the list? <laughs> I don't know anymore. What does that say? Guard thy gullet, a drow banquet in all its oh, splendor. Drow banquet. Yeah. It's not drow bangers you're telling no, me. No, no, oh, no. Well. You wanted drow stuff, so I did a drow <laughs> banquet. <laughs> I love it. This is fantastic. This is like Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking as devilishly handsome as always. Me. As always. Me. Ask. I'm gonna get you in frame because right now you just look like a little bald goblin. Yeah, it's, it's scary. Yeah, oh, get that. That's not, <laughs> that's not uncomfy. Uh, Are you sure? Because uh, it's gonna be right in your armpit. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Uh huh. I'll suffer for my art. Suffer for the art form. <laughs> oh yeah, it's working great. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, baby.